Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. So it's going to be a long weekend for me here in Australia. So today in this video, I am going to show you guys how to schedule Power Automate Desktop based on the timetable um, that you that you will create in uh, Excel. To demonstrate what my Power Automate Desktop flow will do, I will first change the time here. Okay, the time here is now is 6.32. So I'm going to change it to 6.34, right? And save it. Um, so that I'm going to show you that Power Automate Desktop um, will run um, the second floor and then wait till 8.46 to run the third floor. So um, I'm going to close this file. And then I'm going to open the Power Automate Desktop. And then I'm going to run. So this is just a demo, right? Okay, over here, you can see it's waiting 13 seconds, right? To run the second workflow, subflow 2. Right, so it says that the ran successfully, and then it will go to the third floor, and now it's waiting, right, seven thousand nine hundred seconds for eight forty six. Once it runs the third floor, right, it will continue running starting from two p.m. Right, then 634, 846, then it will run the flow again in the following day if you don't close your computer and power automate desktop flow. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first step to do this is obviously create an Excel um, table with your timetable. So name it as timetable.xlsx. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, but over here, just uh, try to um, follow my column names. Time, subflow, desktop flow names. This column C is just for your reference purposes only. So the time, right? You need to make the time text format. So it's uh, you have to put apostrophe, right? And then your time. So minute, minute, second, second, right? So you can put as many as you want. Uh, as many subflows as you want but bear in mind you need to create more um, subflows in uh, power automate desktop so for for me i just need three so i will create um, three subflows in my power automate desktop i will show you guys later um, then you use power automate desktop so you use launch Excel to launch the uh, Excel timetable. Right, launch Excel and open the following document. Um, then you need to uh, put the far path um, to the timetable. Right. Then uh, make instant visible, disable, open as read only, enabled. Right. The rest you can leave it as default. Various burst produce is Excel instance. Then you read from Excel worksheet. Excel instance is Excel instance. Retrieve all available values from worksheet. 
right? Get cell contains contents as text enabled. First line of range contains column names enabled. Variables produced is Excel data. Then you use a loop, right? Start from zero, very important. Start from zero. And to, um, yeah, for me is, I set it up to run a thousand days. You can set up as many days as you want. Um, increment by one variables produced is loop index. Then I use for each current item in Excel data. Right, value to iterate is uh, n percent Excel data n percent store into current item. Then you use get current date and time. Current retrieve current date and time. Time zone system time zone variables produced is current date time. Uh, for for the time zone. I'm in Australia, so this time zone would be a Australian uh, system time zone. So maybe you, if your workflow doesn't work, maybe you select the Australia system time zone, right under here, specific time zone. Okay, then you use convert date time to text. Date time to convert. Current date time format to use custom. Custom format is this format, huh? So I will copy and paste this format into the description below. Variables produce formatted that date time. Then convert date time to text. Date time to convert. Current date time format to use custom. Custom format hh colon mm, right? Variables produced is how how will we need to be replaced. Then you use a replace text. Text to pass, formatted date time. Text to find, how will we need to be replaced. Use regular expressions for find and replace. Uh, enabled, ignore case, disabled, replace with. Current time, current item, then a uh, square bracket, uh, apostrophe, time, apostrophe, then n percent. Um, disable activate escape sequences. Variables produced is user input. This is actually to replace the the time of the current date time with um the time in your Excel timetable. Okay, next set variable. This is very important. Uh, variable use the input. Okay, value is you need to remember to put a apostrophe, n percent user input n percent apostrophe. Huh? Remember this step is very important. Don't skip. Then you run JavaScript, right? I will copy all this into um, the description below, right? Everything word by word you need to copy. Uh, if you see here, the loop index, right? So the first loop index is zero. So zero times this, this number, it's uh, zero. Um, so it, it, will, it will run for the day. And then once it, once the loop index uh, plus one, right, then it will run the next day, right. That's why the 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 loop loop need to start with uh, zero, so that um it will it will wait, right, before it start running the um workflow. Then you use convert text to number, so text to convert is n percent weight time n percent variables produce is value underscore weight time so if then i use if if weight time greater than zero then it will start running the flow 
the reason I'm doing this is uh, because let's say if like just now I run it I run the workflow at 6 633 right so it will skip the two o'clock workflow because it's already passed so the wait time it will be negative so if it's if it's uh 634 and i'm on 633 it's uh, plus 60 seconds so it's a positive so it will go to the second workflow and uh, start running okay so then you use value uh, uh you use wait so it's a value underscore wait time right you will wait for like 60 seconds right then you use if right so if you use uh n percent current item uh square bracket subflow n percent equal to um subflow one right so if it <clears throat> if the current item right if i go back here if it sees uh it, lo it will look at the time first then it will look at this subflow right so if we if we, if we look if we look at subflow 2 then it will run subflow 2 right so this is what the if is doing so so if a subflow is subflow 1 right you run subflow one underscore one so you need to create all these subflows right so in order to create all these subflows you have to go here subflows and then create new sub new, new subflow then you add your run desktop flow so this i already i assume that you have already created all your desktop flows so run desktop flow so you can select right your desktop flows so just make sure right for your reference this is just for your reference when you select the uh, desktop flow just update here right this this is just for your reference to see what is the um uh, the, the 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 corresponding desktop flow for your subflows right um, it, it doesn't it's not used by the power automate flow that's why i can just type in whatever but it will still uh, run my subflows basically this is just for reference purposes only it's not used by power automate desktop um, okay All right then you create your subflow 2 and subflow 3 right depending on what you want uh your subflow to run right so if it if it's subflow one then it will go to this subflow one and run it right and then you can also add your display message to just to show that the subflow one has been run successfully so message this is optional but i think uh, it's good to have it so message block title subflow one message to display subflow one ran successfully uh, message box icon information message box buttons okay default button first button keep message box always on top enabled close message box automatically enabled okay so this is you need to enable this so that uh, power automate desktop won't wait for you to click on okay before you run the next flow so you enable it right then your time out can be any seconds right so i put it here as three seconds variables produce is button press so um then i use else if right current item subflow equal to subflow 2 right then run subflow 2 right then you uh, can display message for subflow 2 then I create another one for subflow 3 else if right equal to subflow 3 and I change it to run subflow 3 and display message 
So if you have more subflows, right, just create more of this else if up to uh, display message, right? And you change everything to subflow four, five, six, and so on. But just remember to create all your subflows at the top here. Um, yeah, basically that's it, right? Just remember to create more subflows if we need more flows. Um, I hope this video has helped you to organize your uh, scheduler. Um, if you like this video, please give this video a like and please remember to subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and I only have 195 subscribers. Um, thank you so much and uh, have a good long weekend if you are celebrating Easter and Good Friday. Uh, also, if you have uh, run this successfully for many, many, many days, just let me know in the comments below so I can keep a record like what's the longest daily streak that you have run the flow successfully. Um, yeah, have fun guys with Power Automate Desktop. See you. Bye-bye.